everyone this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my unboxing of the AC Ryan Playon HD2. This is a next generation media streamer so a network media player. I'm going to show you what you get inside the box and then later on on the channel probably in about two three weeks time I will give you a full review of this product. Now just concentrating on the packaging first of all two year warranty fantastic HDMI full HD 1080 support and then it also supports a lot of different video formats. You can see here mkv.ts files, um, this one mpeg h264, we've also got ISO, IFO and VOB files, Windows Media, Real, uh, Dolby Digital and DTS Digital Output as well. Uh, you do get a cable for outputting via HDMI in the box and you can get these either with or without hard drives in. So you can get an empty unit to put your own hard drive in. This particular one is a one terabyte unit. Just have a look at the side of the box and here it lists off all of those different things that are supported as well. And then round onto the back, you get an overview of what you'll see in my full review actually. This is sort of an overview of the user interface. And then round on this side, just some details of the connections. But I can show you this on the product itself. Before I open this main box, I'll just show you a little add-on product you can get. And this is a wireless N USB adapter. And what this allows you to do is actually uh, turn this into a wireless streamer. So you can actually use it wireless instead of actually plugged in via Ethernet. So anyway, let's pop that to one side and let's open this product and see what we get inside. There you go, it mentions the optional wireless USB dongle there. Oh, and I should give a shout out to AC Ryan, a big, big thank you to them for sending this out to review. Their website, all the W's, acryan.com. And this product as well, I'll, I'll let you know the price, so I'm getting the bits and pieces out. This uh, product is gonna cost you 150 pounds in the UK, or round about $200 in the US. So we've got a couple of components there. Let's just pop this box to one side and have a look at what we get. So this is obviously going to be the main unit. Very nicely packaged. Wow, here we go. Very excited to get a look at this. There we go. That looks stunning. Let's take this cover off. Whoa, Gloss City. This is very glossy box. You can see there, very glossy. So let's, um, I'm gonna actually give you a look around that in a minute. Let's just pop that down there and pop this box on top and show you what you get inside this box to get you up and running because they really do include absolutely everything. So the first thing we've got is a USB cable. Looks like it's USB 3 as well, which is interesting. So USB 3 cable there. We've also got a quick install guide. I'm gonna crack this open, just so I can give you an idea of the quality of the instructions that they're supplying. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's fully illustrated installation guide. Guide you through installing the hard drive in the unit, which, which we don't have to do, because this has already got one in, and how to connect it all up to your TV. So that's really cool. We also get a country specific power adapter, so we're in the UK, so obviously we've got a UK power adapter. Then we have got uh, com composite AV cables, so this is if you've got an older SD television. Then we've got component cables, so if we're going HD to a component connection. And we have got what looks like a really good quality HDMI cable, wow this is amazing absolutely amazing we have got an HDMI cable here and it's a braided cable that is amazing normally manufacturers of products like this they put in the cheapest cheapest cable they can get so that is impressive a couple of uh, AAA batteries for the remote control let's have a little looky at the remote control nice remote as well again normally with this sort of product you get a tiny little remote with little sort of squishy buttons on this is nice quality obviously it's plastic but that is really nice 
just give you a close up look at that. So we've got full controls for the device and that probably gives you an indication of how fully featured this should be. So let's just pop those accessories to one side and give you a look at the box itself. So this is a streamer, but you can also, so, so it will work with other network devices. So you could have files stored on your computer and then stream it to this device. But you can also have onboard storage. So this has got a one terabyte hard drive inside. So you can play, transfer your files across and then play them locally from the device. So let's start at the front. Get rid of that little extra bit of packaging there. So the front here, we've got the power on off button nice responsive feel to that it is a glossy finish you can already see uh, fingerprints where i've handled it that's a little bit of a shame perhaps a matte finish would have been a better choice ac ryan logo on the front there and then on the top we've got play on hd2 sort of embossed into the top and then round on this side this is where if i just pop this down carefully this is where you're going to pull these tabs down i can do it come on there we go and that's where your hard drives installed in there so I've already got a one terabyte drive in there but you can easily buy the unpopulated one and then pop your own hard drive in this compartment while we're round on the bottom I'll just show you the bottom we've obviously got some sort of I don't know if it's a fan it doesn't look like a fan I think it's just some some vents there some more vents on the front and some nice rubberized feet on the bottom let's look at the sides next so Dolby Digital DTS there and some disclaimers and then we've also got a memory card slot which looks like an SD card slot and we've also got a couple of USB hosts there so we can plug in extra devices there and USB 3 connection there for USB devices very surprised to see USB 3 on there I'm pretty sure it is USB 3 and then let's have a look at this side first. Oh no, we've looked at this side. That's where the hard drive goes. Let's have a look at the back. So this is the back of the unit and we've got component connections there, composite connections here, HDMI connection there, and a gigabit ethernet socket, coaxial and optical Toslink connectors there for your digital audio out. And then we've also got a DC input there and then a little tiny fan on the back. So I'm hoping that won't be too loud. It's so small, it probably won't even be noticeable. So this is it. This is the device that's going to handle all of my media in my lounge. I'm very excited to start throwing some movies onto it and start watching via the AC Ryan Play on HD2. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to cost you £150 in the UK, $200 if you're in the US. And I'm going to be bringing you a full review of this in a few weeks on the Geek and Noise channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.